standing on the top of Gunmore, one of our newest nature reserves and surrounded by the wonderful Staffordshire Peak District. This year many people have found solace and comfort in the natural world and it's really re-emphasised the importance of wild places such as this. The Staffordshire Wildlife Trust, our mission to protect the wildlife and wild places of the county has never been more relevant to so many people. Our appeal to raise money for the purchase of Craddock's Moss has been one of the success stories of 2020. Staffordshire Wildlife Trust is really close to raising the final total to enable us to buy the site. We're nearly there, we're nearly at the £75,000 total and I'm confident that in a few more weeks we'll have enough money to enable us to move ahead and complete on the purchase. We hope that we'll see plants like sundew. We're already starting to see some dragonflies, but we hope that we, we could see the white-faced darter, which is a really rare dragonfly of these lowland peat sites, as well as some butterflies, birds such as willow tit, and ground nesting waders such as curlew and snipe. But for 2021, we still need to raise 75,000 pounds to purchase this site at Gunmore which is important for threatened species such as snipe, woodcock and cuckoo. To coin a phrase, it's been the best of times, it's been the worst of times. 2019 was one of our, our best years, it was our 50th anniversary. We had the fantastic opening of our redeveloped Woolsey Centre and Kingfisher Cafe. We had the official opening of our Tuckles Home Reserve and we had our Wild Child Festival, our best and biggest event so far. These are just some of the highlights of an incredible year and it felt like the next year 2020 was going to be amazing but then of course Covid hit. It's certainly been a roller coaster of a year, um, lots of ups, some downs as well. We were forced to close some of our reserves for, for the first time ever. So obviously during the first lockdown we had to stop our volunteer work parties and it was a major impact on us. Our visitor centres, our cafes, our charity shop were all closed with the impact on our income, which was significant. We also had to deal with an influx of visitors to our nature reserves as people tried to get out on their doorstep. And there was a lot of fly tipping and littering. So suddenly we moved from nature conservation into kind of damage limitation. 2020 has also been a year of innovation for the Trust. Our talented staff have developed new ways of delivering our work and helping us to fulfil our mission. By summer, as we came out of lockdown, we were beginning to fire on all cylinders and the year turned around. We had two of our biggest river restoration projects ever down at Cherryholm in the southeast of the county. We diverted the Trent back into a an old channel improving it for wildlife and of course up in Stoke as part of our Sunrise project we created a new river channel half a kilometre in the heart of the city creating wonderful new habitat for wildlife and a great place for people to enjoy and that was just the beginning by then we had our nature recovery network plans leaping ahead working with local authorities to put maps in place to create a nature recovery network map for Staffordshire and by the end of the summer, we'd had 20,000 people going through our virtual online people engagement programs from outdoor yoga through to bug hunting, through to virtual nature reserve guided tours. It really was absolutely fantastic and testament to the talent, pragmatism and creativity of the Staffordshire Wildlife Trust team. Some of you may remember two years ago, there was a huge wildfire up on the roaches. It burned 38 hectares of, of upland moor. Um, and destroyed quite a lot of peat. We've done a lot of restoration work, a lot of that has been funded through the Death of Peatland Fund. We were really pleased to see this year, the, the site is coming back quite nicely. On the roaches, to help restore the peatland, we've used helicopters to bring in grit stone, so it is the same stone as the underlying bedrock, and that will dam the little drains and that will hold water back. And gradually over time, peat and sediment will form behind the dams and plants will start to grow as well. The Staffordshire Wildlife Trust has been going for 50 years. We have 17,000 members, the most ever. We thank all of those past and present for the support they've given us. And of course, we have 20,000 people going through our education programmes each year. But sadly, that's not enough. We need a huge new constituency. We need everybody in Staffordshire 
working towards nature's recovery. There's no time to lose. So as we look ahead, we have so much to do. It feels to me as if we have a once in a generation opportunity. Extraordinarily, we're one of the most nature depleted countries in the world. About 45% of species are in decline. We have to make sure that those changes happen quickly. We need 30% of land across the country and in Staffordshire managed for wildlife by 2030. And to give you a flavour of the scale of the challenge, we think the figure at the moment is only about 6%. So we need to come together, uh, a call to arms if you like, to put nature back in recovery. We'd like to thank all of our members for your support during 2020. It's been a difficult year in many ways, but we've still managed to achieve much thanks to your support. A big thank you to all of our members and supporters. It's a cliche, but we simply wouldn't exist and be able to do what we do for wildlife in this county without you. Please stay with us, give us your support, we can do great things together. Because it enables us to do so much across the county. And if you can spread the word, perhaps you can help bring new members to the cause. For 2021, let's hope it's a less turbulent year and an even wilder Staffordshire. Thank you.